Sour Banane family, we see you, we honor you, and we value you. Your gifts, along with God's grace, allow us to persevere, to mentor, and prepare new leaders as we co-create for future generations. The Proctor Conference is where future meets legacy. We are committed to the forward crusade of faith, equity, and reparatory justice, nationally and globally. We are the place where Ubuntu becomes reality. Your gifts to the Legacy Campaign enables our success, our sustainability, and secures the future. With vision, by faith, and through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work. Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time, or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Good morning, family. Welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, the service of weekly prayer and song, the Proctor Prayer Demic. Today is Friday, July 29th, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful you're with us for prayer this morning. We would like to invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And you can sign up by texting SDPC to the number 84576. We promise we will only use your number for sharing information. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to the service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909 318-7011. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Dr. Susan K. Smith. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see all of you on this Friday. This is the last Friday of July. How the time is just really, really flying away. But we are grateful. We are grateful for you. We are grateful for the breath that we all just took because we know that life is not promised. We are grateful for our founders, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah E. Wright Jr., the Reverend Dr. Frederick Douglas Haynes III, and our General Secretary, the Reverend Dr. Iva E. Carruthers. Uh, without them, there would be no Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And I also want to say that we appreciate the staff of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference because of the incredible work that this very small staff does. And so I just felt like I needed to lift you guys up. All of us, all of us need to be uh, appreciative of the work that goes on behind the scenes. You know, this is a particularly... Um, trying time. And that's why we're so glad that you joined us on this weekly uh, Samuel DeWitt Proctor service of song and prayer. We know that these services have helped us get through some tough times the past two and a half years, especially, but you know, the trauma is not over. We still have drama in our political system. Um, the, the, the pandemic is not gone and we're still struggling. Some of us are asking where God is. You know, we just don't understand why can't God give us a break? Black people and brown people and members of the LGBTQIA community and all people who are oppressed. Why can't God give us a break from imperialism and capitalism and militant and muscular masculinity and 
nationalism, which I don't call Christian nationalism. I don't call it Christian because it's not, but I do call it nationalism and it's hateful and it's spiteful and it's dangerous. And so we might wonder why God doesn't give us a break. And I was reading uh, this morning about, you know, I do my devotions and sometimes I do them out of my own book and on day 78 from my book, Rest for the Justice Seeking. So the scripture is from the book of Job chapter seven and in it, Job says, I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. And then he asks, why have you made me your target? Why have I become a burden to you? And I read that I thought, okay, Joe, well, you're, you're singing our song because many of us are asking those questions. Not only are we asking them, but we have asked them for many, many years as Black people and Brown people and people who are oppressed, Indigenous Americans. So many people in this country have just been abused and walked on. And we ask God, where, where are you at? Where are you? So with that struggle in mind, we are just really glad and grateful for this opportunity to have a little talk with Jesus. Um, and our prayer warrior today is a woman by the name of Reverend Carol, or Minister Carol Taylor. Minister Taylor currently serves as a volunteer associate pastor at Trinity United Church of Christ in Chicago, where she co-leads the intercessory prayer ministry. For over 20 years, she has served as a prison minister within local, state, and federal institutions and advocates passionately for the least of these through her involvement within various social justice advocacy movements within her community. Minister Taylor is an ordained deacon and she holds a Master of Divinity degree from McCormick Theological Seminary in Chicago and a certificate and diploma in executive leadership in ministry. She is currently a Doctor of Ministry student at San Francisco Theological Seminary in San Anselmo, California. We are blessed to have this, this woman of God. We are blessed to have our, our music ministry, which always, always lifts us up. You know, music is a prayer. And so we are grateful for the music, which today is being brought to us by Minister Eli Wilson. So after uh, the music and the you, that you will hear this morning, the voice of the prayed word will be brought to us by Minister Carol Taylor. Please welcome them both. I've had many tears and sorrows I've had questions for tomorrow There have been times I didn't know right from wrong But in every situation God gave blessed consolation That my trials come only to make me strong I've been a lot of places And I've seen a whole lot of faces There have been times i felt so all alone But in those lonely hours Those precious lonely hours Jesus lets me know That I am his own Hallelujah, through it all, oh, through it all, oh, I've learned to trust in Jesus, I've learned to trust in God, through it all, oh, through it all, oh, I've learned to depend upon His Word. I thank God for my mountains, and I thank Him for my valleys. I thank Him for the storms He's brought me through. Because if I never had a problem, I couldn't sit here and tell you God could solve them. 
Now I know what faith in God can do. Hallelujah, through it all. Oh, through it all. Oh, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all. My ups and my downs through it all. Oh, I've learned to depend upon God's every word. Yeah, I've learned to depend upon God's word. I've learned to depend upon His word. Let us pray. Most merciful and good God. God, here we are before your throne of grace and mercy, and we do not take it for granted. But God, we count it a privilege just to be allowed to come before your presence. God, we are so humbled because, God, we realize and we recognize that yesterday and last night could have been our last night. So, God, in in the name of Jesus, God, we just want to tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for touching us with your finger of love, grace, and mercy. That's how we were able to awaken this morning. It was nobody but Jesus. It was nobody but the God that keeps on giving us another chance and another chance chance and another chance. We pause just to shout hallelujah, just to lift up the name of Jesus. We pause just to say thank you God. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and for taking care of our every need. Thank you, oh God, for giving us this day, for it's the day that you have made. We we shout hallelujah because you're still the one who wipes the tears from our eyes. We shout hallelujah because, oh God, we remember that you're the God of our weary years. We remember that you're the God of our silent tears. We'll never forget that you're the God that traveled with us ages after ages, decades, after decades, you traveled with us through slavery, through Jim Crow, and now even in the new Jim Crow, oh God, we'll never forget, we'll keep on shouting your name because you are the God that is our rock and our fortress. We shout hallelujah because we will not allow the rocks to cry out for us. We shout hallelujah because, oh God, you are a great God. And oh God, remind us this day. Remind us that this is the only day, the only moment that has been promised. Yesterday, it's already gone. And tomorrow, God, it's not promised. But this day, oh God, remind us that we still got work to do. We still have a task at hand. Oh God, there's still blood in the street. The blood of our babies, the blood of our black men, the blood of our black women, the blood God is still crying out. So we still got work to do. Remind us, oh God, before we step out that door that we must hold up the bloodstained banner, the banner 
of righteousness and the banner of justice. Remind us, O oh God, that we must hold up the bloodstained banner until mothers stop crying, until fathers stop wailing. We must hold up that bloodstained banner, O oh God, until my body is my choice, until her body is her choice. We must hold up the bloodstained banner until racist policies and racist laws are keeping our black and brown brothers locked up behind an unjust criminal system. Oh God, remind us, oh God, that we must put our hand to the mantle of justice and never look back. We thank you for those who showed us we continue to stand on. We thank you, oh God, for mama, for papa. We thank you, oh God, for my dear. We thank you, oh God, for the ancestors that's peeking over the bowels of heaven to see, oh God, if we're picking up the banner, the bloodstained banner. Give us strength, oh God, for this day, for this is the day that you have made. Give us power, oh God, to walk in your anointing and to do what you have called us to do. Oh God, when it's all said and done, when the victory is won, we won't take the credit, but we'll tell the world it was nobody but Jesus. We'll tell the world, oh God, it was nobody but you. We shout victory, victory in our nation, victory in our streets, victory in our homes. In the name of Jesus, cover us, oh God, with your anointing. We go out like a mighty prayer for us. We go out and we shout victory, victory in the name of Jesus, victory to every battle that thinks it's got us in a stronghold. We tear down every stronghold. We come against every chain of oppression. We come against every principality and every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world. In the name of Jesus, we glorify your name and we stand on your promises. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus. 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 We shout your name, God, and we seal this prayer with your blood, oh God. Give us the strength that we need for this day. For this day's journey, we give you thanks, we give you praise, we honor, and we glorify your name. This is our prayer, and we pray it in the name of Jesus. And all of God's children say amen, amen, and ashe. I can't see your hand I'll trust your heart If I can't see your hand I'll trust your heart Though I may not see just where or how You're at work in my life If I can't see your hand I can't see your way, I'll trust your heart, I'll seek your word and pray, and trust your heart, I will wait until I hear you speak, 
I won't go on my own If I can't see your hand I'll trust I'll trust your heart For the good of those who love you You will work things out all right For you know in your side if I can't see your hand I'll trust I'll trust your heart when I have angered you I'll trust your heart doing what I want to Just in your side If I can't see your hand See your hand If I can't see your hand I'll trust your heart If I can't see your hand If I can't see your hand Trust your heart, I'll trust your heart, trust your heart. And let the virtual church say amen. Uh, I wish that you could show us by a show of hands how many of your souls were strengthened or fed or watered by what you have just received. I know I get something every time we're on here. I can come on as, as uh, depressed or sad as I want. And when I leave, I feel a whole lot better. So I give praise and thanks to Minister Carol uh, Taylor and Eli Wilson, Minister Eli Wilson. We now come to the portion of our service where you are given the opportunity to invest in the work of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We are in a campaign, a place of campaign, and we've entitled it Where Future Meets Legacy. Legacy of all the people who have gone on before us, who have been in the trenches, who have worked and fought for social justice and have gone on to glory, and for the people who are coming after them and us coming to to make the rough places uh, smooth and the crooked places straight. And so we invite you to do the to invest in this work of helping future meet legacy by investing in our work. You can do so um, on our website, sdpconference.info, or you can go to Givelify and look for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. Remember, think of it as an investment. You give and you get back. You give and you get back. And we cannot do the work that we do here in this country and, in fact, all over the world without your financial help. So invest in our work today. Well, we've come to the end of our prayer experience. This is the last Friday of the month of July in the year 2022. The year is going by. Next week, we will be in Chicago for the Black Church Summit. For those of you who are coming, we are so glad you are. We look forward to seeing you. We want you to bring your energy and your ideas and your thoughts and your spirits and all of that to us so that we have an outstanding first of many, I am sure, summits where we address the future the present and the future of the Black church. 
Having said that, I want to thank you again for being with us. I'm sending you a great big hug. Um, I want you to have a wonderful day. And when you feel a little bit mm, kind of like under the weather because of all the political stuff, go back to the words of Job and know that you're not by yourself. And then say with a sense of defiance, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills for whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, not from the systems, not from the government, not from the politicians, but from the Lord. Take good care. See you later.